Let's talk about the Proton Privé. Now, I remember you told me that this car, you like the design of this car, right? Yeah. Great looking car. The front and the side view of the car is fine, but I don't like the rear view of this car. It looks unfinished, if you ask me. Especially the tail yeah. lamps. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I would, I would argue that it's better than Gen 2. Really? Is it better? But Gen I think 2 is Gen not 2, that bad, right? I think Gen 2 was the... If you ask me, the Gen 2 is like the best looking Proton. No, this uh, car, it looks, it looks unique, but it feels... It doesn't look refined. It, it feels, to me, it feels like... It's first like... Gen uh, car. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like Proton starting to actually take, give more attention to their design of the cars. Uh, let's get back to the uh, privé. I like most of the design of this car, but I just don't like the rear end. And the concept car, right? It, the shape obviously is designed for this, you know. And then the production car, they sort of like, oh, we can't do that because it's like too expensive or whatever. And then they sort of ditched it. I can't complain, uh, to be honest. It's a good effort from Proton. Now, uh, we can move on and talk about the... The next car Proton wants to bring in. Yeah. I saw that they have a lot of colors, right? Just wondering yeah, if a lot you of, would have that. I, I really hope we have like a lot of bright colors. Gold, the blue, yeah. the red. Even a different type of blues. Yeah. Let's talk about the fact that it's just kind of... It, it, it looks kind of generic and boring, but it's an overall pretty handsome car. I, I should point out one thing though, the front fender of this car looks a bit higher. If you compare that to the Civic, right, the Civic has this very like slender kind of look over the front wheel arches, you know. It gives the impression like the f hood is very low. Yeah, I actually like the the grill, but we are not getting that one, right? Yep. But the bumper is a good bumper. It looks like the Mercedes AMG bumper. It's a pretty decent design, I agree. However, the, I think the f Sport one actually looks better. I don't agree though. I actually like the really? previous one better. Really? Yeah. I think you like the vents over here, right? Yeah. Because I like the honeycomb grill here. Uh, and and mm. the blacked out headlights, I think it looks pretty neat. Okay, let's see the rear. Alright, um... I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't try to be something it's not, which is what I appreciate. I tell you what, I appreciate the fact that it's not trying to copy in some other car or anything. Is this honest? It's simple. It's clean. I like the 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 boot lid design. Uh, it looks like kind of unique. How do you say it? It's a bit like Lexus kind of design. Texas IS. I, Even I, the diffuser looks alright to me. And the exhaust, I'm not sure is it fake or real. If look at the price, if they sell it for 80,000 it's it looks really premium compared to, you know, Honda City or Toyota Vios. This car comes with painted calipers. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I mean you could argue it's kind of tacky lah, but it's not bad, I mean, something's better than nothing, right? <laughs> I mean, they are doing what people are going to do after they got a car, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> why not? Especially Malaysians, right? <laughs> Look at this oh, zoom. Turn. Check this out. Look at oh that. Oh god. Ooh. Look at this. LED reverse lamps, zoom. Check this out. Yeah, it matters, right? Yes, it does. And the turn signals are here, or something like that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. I think this car uh, got 4 airbags, or oh, is it 6? Uh, I don't know, around there. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about this. The interior, what do you think? This is the f version. If you get the ac accent, the red accent is nice. Uh. It's if pretty nice, right? End, it Looks like a BMW M Sport. It's <laughs> even true. <laughs> 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 Look at this. Eh? Oops. There's like this Fox carbon fiber thing. However, I think the normal one has a. I actually prefer the normal one without the, the stupid. 
the standard one. Uh. Yep. This one, you have a lot of silver accents. I, the X70 has this sort of like cream off white center stack, which uh, this car does not have. Oh, I didn't realize that. It looks like it's, it's after a couple of years turned yellow. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. Design, of course, is not as. Uh, can't find a word. It's, it's not, not that amazing, amazing la, Amazing, like X50. But I, I guess it works. La. I think the materials wise is also not too bad. I know that they have soft touch materials up top. Uh, yep. Even the meter, meter cluster. So that's fine. Yeah, I, I like that the this the central screen is not doesn't look like this kind of what do you call? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it, it stick on it, at least from this angle. It's not like tacked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you look at X fifty and all that, it, yeah, it's like the afterthought, right? Put on top. <laughs> This one feels it's like it's in built this. in. This one is, looks like it's built into it, even though it's not. Uh, the good thing about having the screen underneath the aircon vents is that you get the wind blowing towards your face rather than uh, into your armpits. <laughs> yeah, but the rest is fine. I mean, the lower part looks alright to me. Yeah, but the gear seems to be different, huh? The gear. Oh, they. It doesn't come with the electronics shifter. No. Yeah, so no better sh shifters for you guys. Too bad. Haha. Uh -huh. I hope it does come with better shifters. Yeah, and the Preve had it, so. Yeah. But give us better shifters. This car. I'll give it a. S if it comes with this front bumper, right? With this trim and this appearance, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Oh, bias shit, huh? <laughs> Okay, this car six. All right. I'll give this interior a six out of ten because I just think the X fifty's interior is slightly nicer looking. I'm gonna give it a bit higher because of the price. It's definitely not better than X fifty, so um eight. I give eight. All right. Should I give eight? Yeah. Let's just say eight. But of course, I still much prefer the X50 interior. It looks nicer with a darker red. I agree. This one looks a bit tacky. I agree. Yep. So, is that a conclusion? Yep. Do you need a conclusion for this video? We don't. We always just end abruptly. <laughs> <laughs>